Welcome back golfers in today's video. I'm gonna show you how I actually get my 14 way bag with a putter wheel Vessel cart bag set up how I organize it and the things that I do like to put in in terms of my accessories So we'll get started. So the, since this is a cart bag and it's got this open sleeve You've got to think of how this is going in your cart now I do push it and put it in a push cart as well so the first thing I would like to do and it's probably the best club that you're gonna have to use I need to put my Scotty Cameron. I slide it right here. It's got a well. Literally, this spot is for your money maker. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab my wedges. I'll grab my wedges over here. I got the Vokies SM9s. Now, I like to put them towards the two little um, slots in the front. I got a 50, 54, 58. I usually put two in one slot and one in the other. Now, the next thing we need to do is get our iron set up. So we'll grab our irons here. I'm playing with the Muras. Now I'm a little OCD, so when I do have a 14-way versus the four-way or even a seven-way, I like them to be in order. Now, sometimes that doesn't work out during the round when you're a little mad, but what I like to do is I'll have the 54, 58, and then I'll put the pitching wedge right in the next hole, slide in the nine, keep them all in order. I'll grab the eight, I'll put the seven right here, and then I like to go back, so I kind of do it like a snake. So we'll grab the other two, and I play from a five to a four. Um, we'll snake that bad boy all the way. I like to leave this slot over here kind of empty. Now we're gonna grab the next woods that we, that we have over here. Now the driver, I like to put on the end since it's kind of longer, it's gonna be a little bit longer. I like to put the driver on the end. I put my three wood on the other end to make it clean. I do have a five wood because I sold my two iron and I'll actually slide that right here. And the cool thing is it leaves me about two extra slots. Now that extra slot, what I like to do is I have this cool slingshot. Um, it's a little heavy thing, kind of gets me warmed up. Now, you know, when you're older, you want to sprain your back, get a little warmed up. So I slide that on the corner because it's a little bit heavier and I like it in that slot. Now we got to move on to accessories. Now, what I always say is you can never have enough towels, and I love towels that do have the magnet. So we'll start here with the first towel. But actually, before we get towels, we'll put in our tees. Let's slide this over so you guys can see that. So I have different magnet pockets in the front of this bad boy. My tees, I usually like to put it on the bottom magnet because it's where I like to grab my tees right there. We'll grab the towel that I was talking about. And this one's pretty cool. It's got a magnet. And what I'll do with this towel is I'll put it on top and I just kind of wrap it around my clubs so I don't get club rattled. And the next thing I'll actually grab are golf balls. Okay, guys, you guys need golf balls. We got to figure out what to do. I do have a secret way of getting my golf balls. I hit Titleist, T, or Titleist Pro V1s. And I do have Bridgestones um, Tour BS, but sometimes I play as a single. Sometimes I got some buddies that just hit them out of bounds. They're going to ask me to grab a ball. So I like to keep these Wilson Ultras just for them. I try to be the nice guy. I don't want them, you know, say I don't give them a ball. So I keep these Wilson Ultras. And sometimes for me, if I'm going over water, you never know. You don't want to lose those Pro V1s. So I usually like to slide them in this big pocket in the front. I'll put those golf balls. I'll put some of the Ultras maybe in the front with the tees. Easy to grab. We'll zip that bad boy up. You can see the magnets on the side. This even has a pencil. And the next thing I got are my tiny little accessories, okay? So a little secret that I like to do, because I do have two pockets on the side that have microfiber, because um, this is a card bag. I like to put all my little trinkets, my ball markers, my divots in plastic bags, because when I stick them in there, sometimes I don't find them. I'm not gonna lie. They'll get lost. I'll slide these bad boys all the way in here on one of the sides. Sometimes I'll leave one open just so I can put my watch, you know, if I got like my Rolex or something in there. And next, we gotta go with protection. We're down in Georgia. I want you guys getting skin cancer, so I like getting the spray just in case. It's pretty easy. My wife makes me use this face cream because she's always worried about my face, even though I'm getting old and wrinkly. So you gotta be equipped with your sunscreen. In this bag, I like to slide it on the side. We'll zip that up. And the cool thing about this bag too, guys, on each side, there's cooler bags. So you can fit probably about eight beers, waters, Waterloo, sparkling, whatever you need, no problem. Now we're gonna go to some more accessories. Let's go over here. We'll grab the glove. We got the golf glove. I usually keep it with my tees. I got the koozie, the beer koozie. You need that because it gets a little hot. You want your beer to get warm after a couple holes, but it depends how fast you drink. Now I do have a second towel. Like I said, you can never have too many towels. This one though, I use as a clip-on um, to keep it going. 
The next thing I have is a little ball towel. It's pretty cool. Stick your ball, clean it really nice. So we got another towel. So I wasn't kidding. And I do have a third towel. This one's kind of cool. You can actually put it on your pocket. It's got a little magnet. It's by Golf. Sometimes I'll put it if it's really wet, if it's a wet day. And probably the best thing that you need is one of these. After you hit a wedge or you hit some clean, you get this nice, nice and juicy. Clean your club really quick. And the best part about this, it's a magnet. So it goes on and off. So I'll clip that bad boy on. You gotta keep your clubs clean. And honestly, if you clean them while you're playing, you don't have to go to the hassle when you finish that round that you've got a ton of clubs to clean and by the time you're done cleaning. I do have this little T-grip. Kind of helps you go in the hands if you're interested in it. Um, really cool. We'll put that in our front pocket right here. And normally I'd have my range finder that goes right here. Um, but someone stole it from me about three weeks ago. So I got to get another one. I do use a Garmin watch. Um, I don't have it out here. Now we're going to move on to the shoes. Um, currently I'm hitting some Nike Vapors. Super nice. or Nike Zooms. If you get these, they, they do run narrow, even if you've got a normal foot. Awesome shoes. They're kind of spikeless, spiked. they got some cool things. What I do is I actually put it in this cool bag that I got from Melon. It actually came with my Phil Mickelson hat. I like to keep it clean. I'll, I'll jam my shoes in here. Because I don't like putting them in my bag because it gets dirty. In case they got grass or whatever, it's easier to clean this little bag. And what I'll do is I'll actually zip tie it. You can kind of get these bags play at TJ Maxx really cheap. I just happen to have one. And what I'll do is I'll just hang it on the side. So that's nice and clean. And I have this whole other compartment. And then the last thing too, guys, sometimes I walk. Also, we're in Georgia. Sometimes it rains or even sometimes you want to block the sun. You've got to have an umbrella, dude. You've got to have an umbrella. Uh, very important. There's a cool slot for this. Let's see where it's at. Right here on the, I guess, your left-hand side. You slide it down. It goes in like that. You take it all the way down. Oops. All the way down. And there is my bag set up. Let me know how you guys set your bag up. That's all my gear. This thing is a tank. Now, I do have a stand bag. Maybe I'll do a video of a smaller stand bag because you probably don't want to carry this all the time. But honestly, I use a push cart cart. I don't care. I take this right, right out of the car. We're set. We're looking good. We're prepped. Put some beers in here. Put some tequila. We'll be hitting shots and having some fun, boys. So let me know what you got.